Captain K Provincial Command Team, please come to the stage quickly. Aha, ngi kulumenga esizulu ngi skosa nange English is wagel. Wonke umuntu obu ilunga le pisiti ya la Eastern Cape a stage quickly. Every pisiti member of Eastern Cape uh, organizer quickly. Let's get them and then now we and everyone. Chulas Malema. Are you ready for Chulas Malema? Are you ready for Chulas Malema? Are you ready for Chulas Malema? Show.
Manza, Manza, Awe, Tu, Awe, Tu, Msaba, 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 Awe, Tu. Owe tu. Long live the EFF, long live. Long live the EFF, long live. Long live President Julia Siloma Lema, long live. Tata chuchu tata. Tata chuchu tata. Pansi ANC, pansi. Pansi mbulalu ramaposa, pansi. Pansi mbulalu ramaposa, pansi. Manza. Thank you very much. President of the EFF, Deputy President, Secretary General, members of the CCT, members of the provincial uh, leadership and the region, and the Grand Forces of the EFF, Molueni. Molueni, Molueni, Ninjani, Ninjani, Namdi Apila, it goes. Pambil Nabafundi, Pambili, Pambili, EFF Student Command, Pambili, Sizofunda. Sizofunda, Genkani, Sizofunda, Genkani, Mansa. Thank you very much. Sabule la banani apa namtange. Sabule la kuto ngalemini balleke kanga aga e June 16. Sibe kanti si akwazu tibana apa. Yeah, okay. Happy Father's Day as well. <laughs> and happy Father's Day to the President. Happy Father's Day. Sure. Some of you are still students. You are not supposed to be fathers. <laughs> um, Today is a very, very important day in the calendar of uh, this country and this continent. And um, it's a, an honor that uh, our leadership decided, we had to decide where are we going to hold the June 16 commemoration this year. And it could have been anywhere in the country. But the decision was taken that it's going to be here in Alice and Fort Hare. So you are very lucky because uh, you were the chosen ones. If, if this was, uh, if we were in church, I would put Ben Begi Lizwi. And Lizwi, Elanam Tangeli, from Franz Fanon. It says that yeah, every generation has a mission and it either betrays it or fulfills it. Your gener our generation did what it did uh, in the 80s until uh, the unbanning of organizations in, the in 1990. Your generation is the one that must bring us economic freedom in our lifetime. Economic freedom in our lifetime, economic freedom 
in our lifetime. Thank you very much. So what I'm going to do to open this meeting officially, I'll call Commissar Mbuiseni to sing the national anthem. People's Bay. Amanda. Long live, Commissar. Long live. Amanda. Bella Sugmen Songke. So was a Linko Sigelel. As Uli in national anthem and a Sipunu Aparat. As Uli is Lugu. As Kumshi. Sikula in national anthem Yaga. Inoxon Dong. So don't make a, a mistake of Africans. Africans must fall. Africans must fall. This them must fall. This them must fall. Go see Sigeleli Africa. Malupagani Supondoloyo. Izwaye Mita. Dazo ye tu go si sigele la ti tina lo sapolo yo go si sigele li Africa malo pagani. Loyo is why a mita does all to go see Tina Lusa Poloyo City was a moya City was a moya. Awoza moya, oyi, oyi ngwele, nkosi, sigele la ti, tina lo sapolwa yo, murena bolu, kasi chava sa yesu, O fedi se dint lima tsenye o si bulu ke o o si bulu ke si chaba o si chaba sa sa he he su si chaba sa Afrik. O si bulu ke o, o si bulu ke murena, o si cha basa sahe so si cha basa Afrika. Magube Jaloma Jalogute Gube Gun Gate Gute Gube Guna Aumagube Magube Magube Njalo gute gube gun pagate gute gube guna pagate mata awe tu sabulel eh. Magvaga leman bako banda bacha abang ten ngati ni relax and never and never so lilwe la lilifu mane so lilwe la man. 
Manza, Bizani Fire Brigade, Goya Cha. Bizani Fire Brigade, Goya Cha. I have a finger in a pit hole. I have a finger in a pit hole. I have a finger in a pit hole. Mapuno Asitata Pe Isibing Aupasitata Pe Isibing De Singa Ausogu Tati Afrika Bayenze Yabo Ausogu Tati Afrika Bayenze Yabo from K to Kai 
Kweru Au Morocco to Madagascar away from Cape to Cairo Au Morocco to Madagascar Badile Iazania Yizweleto Solitata Gepa Zoga Aule Iazania Aule Iazania Solitata Ge EFF Aule from Cape To Cairo Au Morocco to Madagascar, away from Cape to Cairo. Au Morocco to Madagascar, Badile i Azania Izueleto Solitata Gepa Zoga. Aule i azania, aui azania, angini zolitata, ge i efep. Aule i azania, aui azania, so itata ngalo malema, aue from ke. Badile i aza, awi aza, so i tata nge pa zoga, manda. Abiza ni fire brigade, chi chi, awi fire brigade. Abizani fire brigade, chi. Awe fire brigade, EFF ingene forte, chi. Awe ingene forte, EFF ingene forte, chi chi. Awe ingene forte, Abizani fire brigade. Umli lolo, abizani fire brigade. Chi chi, awe fire brigade. Ife finge ne bito, oops, awe finge ne bito. Ife finge ne bito, awe finge ne bito. Abizani fire brigade. Chi. Awumli lolo, abizani fire brigade. Chi, awumli lolo, ife finge ne bito, awinge ne bito, ife finge ne bito. Angini zwa, abizani fire brigade. Awe fire brigade, abizani fire brigade, chi chi. Awe fire brigade, awe ever finge ne bito, awe inge ne bito. Adi chio chio, ay mama chio, chio chio, chio makerela, yo yo bane. Oh, me sane. Paso guza. Oh, ma si tatayo. Ati nyo nyo bane. Oh, me sane. Ipazu hie hie mama. Oh, ma si tatayo. Ati chuchu malema. Ole kawe la maka hie 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 mama 
Oma sitata yo. Ati juju malema. Likawe. Lamaka. Iye, iye, iye mama. Oma sitata yo. Ati chio, chio. Chio mama, chio. Kizoli lwe lavo. Sili fumane. Sizoli lwe lavo. Awuyelele mama. Iswela mi zwela me. Awi zwela me. Siyali tanda. Sizoli lwe lavo. Awuyelele ma. Chui. Iswela mi zwela me. Awi zwela me. Manza. Ah, Manza. Thank you, thank you, Commissar. Yeah, yeah, man, I didn't know when you have to vote on go. Ne? Em vulele, no male mio. Ay, aso patala. Ay, aso patala. Vulele. O male mio azo patala, ai azo patala, ai mbulele ni, ai azo patala, ai azo patala, ai mbulele ni, o male mio. I as over Patala. I as over Patala. Helen Vumelen. I as O Tatala. I as O Tatala. Hanim Vulelen. I as O Tatala. I as a tatala can in I as a tatala I as a patala and in bullet I as a patala I as a tatala Hey, I'm full Oh, my name, yo. I as a patala. I as a patala. Can I'm full Oh, my name, yo. I as a tatala. I as a tatala. Manza. Away, two. Thank you very much. Uh, now I'm going to call our provincial chairperson, Commissioner Zini Tetiana, to welcome us to the province. Pambele, my provincial chair, Pambele. Tata, Salo, Tata. Amanda. Amanda. Uh, comrades, just before we do anything. The challenge is stolen on my Eastern Cape, some girl president. Because Zonga is Norman is Tulayo, Isis versus Tulis meeting in Zed. Stella stolen on my Yalape Pondui. Sikes Isam.
Jio, 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 Mama, Jio, 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 Mama, Jio, 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 Uteni Mafata, Salaula, he made Fembe, Satig is in do. Uteni Mafat, Fata, Salaula, he made Fembe, Satig is in do. Uteni Mafat, Salaula imidwem, Zatig is in do. Uteni mafa, Uteni mafaita, Salaula imidwem, Zatig is in do. Uteni mafa, Faita, Salaula imidwem. Zatig is in do. Amanda. Awe tu. Amanda. Comrade President. Uh, Deputy President, officials, uh, CCT members present. TCT members of the province of the Eastern Cape, all RCT members present, and all ground forces. I greet you all, comrades. Comrade President of the EFF, we gather here today uh, right, where, right where the courageous Chief McOma led not less than three wars against annexation of African peoples and African Africa's land by the British. Kanye Apo Skoyo Ngoku President, Siamba Gumtapa Apo Utatu Nelson Mandela, Utatu Robert Mugabe, Utatu O.R. Tambo, Utatu Robert Sobukwe, and many others. Bafukama, Bate Bakandu Sel, Inguinga Zokula Elis, Sabandabam Yam. Silapa ke mungameli na mtanje. Ugu kumbula usu golbalu lukleo kakulu. Kwimbali elizo. Usu ke ekwa tingalo. Bati abando abacha bakkaula. Ama kina. Yengi nezele. Bazi nigezele ngokupeleleyo kumzabalazo. Ngokulua elizo. Today, Comrade President, the EFF is the true heir of these struggles of African people. Conceived and waged by generations before us. The EFF is the true heir of the undying mission of Chief Makoma for the reclamation of Africa's land. The EFF is the true heir of the bravery of Robert Sobukwe in the fight for African people to be able to call their souls their own. The EFF is the true heir to the generation of 1976 who fought and died to make education accessible to all Africa's youth. The call for free and decolonized education, therefore, is an intergenerational mission passed down to us by those who came before us. We dare not to flinch. We dare not to linger. We dare not to betray this noble call of educating our African people. The challenges faced by our African youth have evolved, Comrade President. Here in this institution, Fort Hare, not less than four young students have taken their own lives in the, last pa in the past month. This is because, Comrade President, the institutions of higher learning have become toxic to the well-being of African youth. African students go to school or to classes hungry. African students go, to go through their studies without requisite resources that would help them to study and be better. African female students are forced into untenable sexual relations with their lecturers. African female students have no free access to sanitation and sanitary towels. So the EFF and the Student Command must tackle these challenges, comrades. All of us, we have that duty with the necessary vigor and 
bravery of the generation of 1976. Kaloma, as the president, we want to welcome you and the collective. And we are eager to take the line of march from your revolutionary wisdom. Amandla. Thank you. Thank you, Stal. Uh, now I'm going to call Unopala Chikalele, where EFF uh, Commissar Kotrish Kadi, our Secretary General. Tata Nopala Tata. Tata Nopala Tata. Amanda, Amanda, fighters and goals. Is Kati is figure who so manje, Uguti Tina, Sinazi say, Uguti Obani eat at Tanisa, Esizenazo, Lapa in Kokeli, Zumbuto, e economic freedom fighters. Eh, Gizokala, Gain Kokeli, the Pondo. Mas Param Zonke, the Kombi, the Param Sizanda, the Bingelele, Amalunga. Engzo Bazisa Lapo, U Chepesen, we province, Commissia Zinen Mazi, Ote Kulaningo, my Pondo, Gabona Nikula Lengo, Machoti, Niamazi. Uh, uh, apinde abe ilunga le palamende lapa e e e e e pondwe ni i mpumankolo ni chepesen nono pala ukomsa mlamuli ukomsa mlamli uno pala apinde abe ilunga le palamende utepiti chepesen aplain babingelele Apinda Bay Lunga, Palamende, a Cape Town, Deputy Secretary Kotoi, Apinda Bay Lunga, Le Palamende, Usosmali, Ehe, Upusosmali, Pagama, Chief Babingalele. Thank you very much. Winko Kelly is Puma Gunational. Eh, sino komisa nkakisang mohoti apinda belunga le parliament ku ncop eh uyamazike u u u u umakhanda khanda enkandla ukuthi wambiza ukuthi wentombazana wentombazana wa hey hey ungangibiza ngontombazana mna u komisa nkakisang eh siphinde sibe no komisa Primrose Sonti, a pindabe lunga le palamende niamazi. Thank you. Sibene lunga le war cancel, a pindabe lunga le palamende, umamre neilwe, siamazo, wachela umakanda kana. You are a thief! You are a thief! Umamre neilwe lona. Ehe. Sipinde sibeno chairperson. National Chairperson, the People's Advocate. Yes. Commissar Mkini Chwaku Obe Nseli Nani Ama Viga Mabilo Ama Tatu Elungsela Lumsebenzi Uno Kungabi Etuze Wetu Upilapu Commissar Mkini Paramsi Sandla No komisa mbuise ni ndozi utokote la pindabe ilunga le parlamende People's Bay. Sibe no baba uchepeseni ukomisa talimpofu the People's Advocate. Manza! Viva the EFF, viva! Bongera Kulu, a people's advocate, a Usagela Monga Meli, a Pinda Abo Uso Swep Umkulu, Opete Bonke Abanga Malunga was a parliament, a Cape Town, Naguzo Zonke, Amapondo, Usagela Monga Meli, Deputy President Floyd Nico. Shivambu, Deputy President. 
Amanda. Viva EFF, viva. Long live the fighting spirit of Tsetsi Machinini, long live. Long live the fighting spirit of Muiso Makubo, long live. Long live the fighting spirit of Hososi Ashulwa, long live. Long live the fighting spirit of Hector Peterson, long live. Amanda! Away to. Thank you very much, Secretary General Godrich Gadi. I'm going to do a very simple task here. I'm going to introduce to you the guerrilla in chief, the commander in chief, the president of the Economic Freedom Fighters, the revolutionary who is leading the revolution not only here in South Africa, is leading the economic emancipation struggle in the entire African continent and the diaspora. All the oppressed and excluded masses of our people, black people, look up to his leadership, a great Pan-Africanist. The people of South Africa must welcome the fact that he is the incoming president of South Africa. Comrade President. Choo-choo, 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 choo-choo. Amanda, Amanda, Viva, EFF, Viva, Long live, EFF, Long live, Long live, EFF, Long live, Long live the undying spirit of Winnie Mandela, Long live, Hands off, Zinzi Mandela, Hands off, Hands off, Zinzi Mandela, Hands off, Maibuye, Maibuye, Africa. Thank you very much. Uh, our chairperson, Commissar Dalim Pofu. This is is long because I'm talking to the entire country and the continent. And therefore, in doing so, we must make sure that everyone hears us. Our Deputy President, Secretary General, members of the War Council, Central Command Team, PCT, RCTs, Branch Command Team, members of the Student Command from University of Fort Hare, and the community members, the ground forces of the EFF, we are here today to commemorate the June 16 students' uprising. We are not here to give a lecture, SG. I saw someone saying there is a lecture. There is no lecture. We are here to remember against forgetting because the enemy forces will want us to forget so that if we forget, they can repeat the same mistake they committed before. The only way June 16 will never be repeated, it is because we will never forget that June 16 happened. In the same way, we will not forget Sharpville. In the same way, we will not forget the Langa Day. In the same way, we will not forget Marikana Day. Because when they introduce to you Commissar Sonti, they don't tell you that she was amongst the women who were fighting in Marikana against your favorite current president who unleashed the police on our people. Today, we gather here at Fort Air after 43 years of barbaric acts committed by the nonsensical apartheid regime. We are here to remind them that you are evil and you will forever be evil for killing innocent souls 43 years ago. We are here in the University of ZK Matthews, Governor Mbeki, O.R. Tambo, Nelson Mandela, Seretsekama, 
Kenneth Kaunda, Julius Nyerere, Robert Mugabe, Robert Subukwe, Krisani, and many others. It is not a mistake that we chose this university. This university has got a long history of liberation in Southern Africa and the African continent. Many ideas which liberated many, many countries in our continent were generated here in this university. All of you who are attending school here, you are a chosen generation because you are following in the footsteps of the giants. And that's why we wanted to breathe the same air that was breathed by Robert Mugabe and Robert Subukwe and Krisani. Maybe when we leave here, we'll stop being cowards because we were at the same space where Krisani spent some of his time. Comrades, we are here because many young people, despite the fact that leaders and giants have gone through this university, many young people are still without education. Many young people, especially in the rural areas, can't even dream of coming to Fortin. They will not even dream of going to any other university, despite the fact that we are promised that there will be free education at tertiary institutions. There is no free education at Fortier. There is no free education at any university. There is ample free education, almost free education, not free education at all. Comrades, we are here because this is where the battles are fought to decolonize education in Africa. And decolonization of education does not mean that we must be taught in Corsa. You can't be taught in Corsa and be taught wrong things. Decolonized education does not mean being taught in mother tongue. It means that we ought to liberate the syllabus, the content, must liberate the mind of African children. The education system, every time it gives you examples, it gives you examples of whiteness and project whiteness as excellence. And all of you, when you graduate, you want to be like white people. That is the type of education we are fighting. We don't want education that gives examples of whiteness as a center of excellence. When we say we decolonize, we mean that Africans should learn about their own experiences and learn how they are going to defeat and better those experiences. Because if decolonization, Guyane, means that we must be taught in Corsa, then Bible is written in Corsa as well, yet projects Christianity as white. We are not accommodated. That's why even Jesus Christ is projected as white, even in a Corsa written Bible. It's not a language that matters. It is the content. And therefore, we ought to get the content right. The youth of 1976, when they fought against Africans, it was not because they didn't want to go to school. They knew that the colonizer wanted to make them in his own image. What? Colonialism, chairperson, in simple terms, it's when the colonizer makes you in his or her image. What is the image of our colonizer in South Africa? Is to bleach ourselves and want to look white. What is the image of colonialism in South Africa? Is to straighten our hair and want to look white. What is colonialism in South Africa? is to want to speak English better than the English themselves 
because you think English is better than Kosa itself. Why? The colonizer has made you in their image. You must walk like them. You must speak like them. You must write like them. You must dress like them. And anything else that doesn't show the image of a colonizer, it's a taboo. What is a taboo here in Alice? When we slaughter and perform rituals for our ancestors, we are ashamed because it's not the image of a colonizer. We have never seen a white man slaughtering and performing rituals. Therefore, it is wrong. Why? You are made in the image of the colonizer. And therefore, in everything else you do, you want to be like your colonizer. So when we say we are decolonizing education, we ultimately want to decolonize society so that we embrace ourselves. And listen to me. I never said a person who bleached herself or himself is not an African. If you want to do it, do it. As long as it comes from inside, it's what you like. But don't do it because you want to look like your mother's boss. You must do it because for some reason you feel fulfilled. As long as it comes from inside you, straighten your hair. Not because you want to look like Helen Zille. She's not one of the best people you want to look like. Comrades, June 16 happened not because of the ANC. June 16 happened because of Steve Biko. Those children were following the ideas of black consciousness. Those children, they wanted to liberate the mind. C.S.C. Machinin was mentored by, mentored by Abram Tiro. Abram Tiro was expelled from the University of Tefliop for speaking and standing for black people inspired by black consciousness. So the struggle of 1976 was not just a struggle against Africans. It was a black consciousness struggle. It was a struggle to liberate the mind. Because they knew that if we allow the continuation of oppressing the mind of black people, we will never realize our total freedom. The ANC denounced 1976. They must not claim now. They denounced it the same way they denounced fees must fall. They only came later to support fees must fall. The same way they came later to support the 1976 student uprising. Therefore, they must never claim the struggle of 19. 76, it was a struggle of the mind to conscientize our people. It was a struggle to instill in our people black consciousness. What is black consciousness? Is self-love. That if you love yourself, you will not embrace the language of others for you to be relevant. So the youth were ahead of their time. The youth led the struggle for the total liberation of our people. Despite the fact that the 1976 youth was called names, they never retreated. They fought an armed regime with well-trained soldiers. They fought it with stones. They knew that the stones will not defeat the killing machine. But one thing they knew was that they will never kill all of us. It doesn't matter. They can continue to shoot. We will never defeat them with our stones, but we will defeat them 
with our strength, will defeat them with our numbers, will defeat them with a conscious society, will defeat them with a liberated mind that says enough is enough. Where there is a will, there is a way. Kill us, bastards. You will never kill all of us. We are going to fight to liberate this country. They said no parent is going to go to work now. We must cripple this economy. It must collapse. We must buy court the shops. We are not buying anything. One, why are you not buying? We don't have the guns to defeat them, but we've got the economic power to defeat them. Let's not buy. Let's not go and work for them. Anyone who goes and buy, you will drink fish oil. You will drink omo. People were like, these people are crazy. No one is going to go to work. Why? We were using our economic muscle to cripple the most dangerous regime. And we did it. We defeated them without guns. We only had ourselves and our liberated minds. So do not undermine the struggle of liberating the mind. Because the people who continue to oppress us, they've got our minds. The people who do as they wish and you re-elect them all the time into power, it's not because they are doing anything. They've just arrested the mind of African people. And therefore, we have to liberate the mind. Like 1976 generation, ours is not a struggle to attain power by all means immediately. No, before we take government, before we become ministers, before we become anything, let us liberate the mind so that when we take power, we'll stay in power forever. What type of people are you who elect people who have created such huge unemployment amongst young people? 55.2% young people are unemployed. You still elect the same people. Uh -uh. You are not bewitched. You are not a fool. They have arrested the mind. Because when they come here as Laleni, but I Mauka vote Lumalema, we are taking the social grants. And because your mind is not liberated to know that they did not bring the social grant, it's your money. You get scared and not vote. They control the mind. They come to you during election with 55.2 unemployed young people give you food parcels. And then you are so happy. They give you blankets. You are happy. Why? You think more is coming after elections because they've arrested your mind. We ought to liberate the mind of African people. Young people are dying of AIDS. Young people are unemployed. Young people are not at school. Young people are exploited in the farms. They look very old, yet they are young. Because the system has finished them. And still, you elect them because they control the mind. So from today, you must know that Ours is a struggle to liberate the mind like the 1976 generation that confronted the regime unarmed, inspired by the black consciousness. The consciousness is the mind. You ought to find yourself. Who are you? What do you stand for? So that you don't become a political amuba and you are shapeless. You are pulled from all over. When you are criticized this side, you go that side. When you are criticized this side, you go that side. Because you are an amuba, you are shapeless, you are not liberated, you have no ideas of your own. If you know who you are and what you stand for, they can say any nonsense they want to say about you. 
you ought to stand firm and say, mine is the liberation of the mind. For as long as there is a black man that worship whiteness, I'm not done. I ought to liberate even the last person. We don't want to be like white people. We want to live like them or better than them. Because we deserve more. These are our minerals. This is our land. How can a visitor live better than the owners of the house? The visitor must get the smallest room without a bathroom inside and go and we we outside while we are staying in the in suit. It's our house. That's why in each and every house there is what we call a guest room. South Africa belongs to, belongs to all who live in it. What do you mean? Which houses ever belong to all who are in it? There is a guest room. Let them stay in the guest room. We must take the bigger portion of the house. It belongs to us. It is our country. It is our land. It is our minerals. We will take a bigger portion. Why should we talk about free education when it's supposed to come automatically? Why should you kill children for demanding free education? What type of madness is this that we are subjected to? A government that kills children who want to go to school, you still elect it into power to kill more because they've arrested your mind. You must never be demoralized every time the election results come. More numbers you get, you must know more minds are being liberated. We, we liberate a mind one by one. You must be worried if we lose a single vote. Then it means they've rearrested another mind. But every time you should ask the question, did we increase? If the answer is yes, you must celebrate and say, more are seeing the light. More are becoming to appreciate that the only way out of this misery of 55.2 unemployed young people is through the ownership of strategic means of production. Education can never be negotiated. It must be free it must be compulsory. All those who qualify to go to school, especially here at Fort Hare, it must not be whether you can afford or not. You must get your seat here through your metric result. If you are academically deserving, your seat is guaranteed. If you do not meet the requirement, you are not lost. You just miss the direction. Tibet College is here for you. Free of charge. You are not going home. We have no homes for children. Children belong in a classroom. Children belong in a Tibet College. Children belong in a university. We don't want idling kids. So that when we find you in the village or in the township, we must ask you, what are you doing here? Because you're supposed to be in a class. No, I've graduated. Uh -huh. Why are you not working your land? We have given you the land. Go and work your land. Our people are complaining here. People are stealing animals. When they are at work and at school, is because they are idling. No one must idle. Everyone must be in a classroom. But what type of a classroom to come to Fort A and still find you reading manual books without tablets, without IT, without Wi-Fi, without internet? As if you belong during the times of Robert's Mugabe and Subuku and Mandela and uh, Mangosutu Butele. 
They, 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 you can't study like them. You are a completely new generation. There must be a computer lab here. Bigger than this place. Well equipped with latest IT. What is the fourth industrial revolution when this place still looks like during the time of Mandela? During Matanzma's time? And then you go around saying, a fourth industrial revolution, you even clap hands instead of asking the question, where? Because we are still living like we are in the earlier primitive society. This place must be a center of excellence. We who are not equipped with the equipments of fourth industrial revolution, we should be asking you the 40 students, how do we go about it? But you are like us. You don't have equipments. Why? You are led by old folks who know nothing about fourth industrial revolution. Why are you led by old folks? Because you don't register. And if you argue with me that you are registered, it's because you do not vote. Students don't vote. That's why you are led by fools. <laughs> Students must vote. I'm not telling you this because there are elections. It ought to be in your mind that the only way we can get it right it is because we must get our generation into positions of power. People who have an appreciation that we are no longer in the 70s and the 60s. We are now in an era of fourth industrial revolution. Everyone in this village, when they wanted to print programs for funerals, to print obituaries, to print CVs, they should know this is a center where all of that can be done. And it must be done free of charge. Why? That's where the community come to appreciate that there is sophistication in our area. Where is that sophistication? It is located at Fort Hare University. People, when they argue and can't find one another in society, they should make reference to you that, no, maybe let's go and ask those kids at Fort Hare. They are more advanced than us. But the reality is we are at the same level. Those who are doing law, you are still studying the same books that Dali studied. And uh, SG. SG just finished now. He's studying the same. He studied the same books that Dali studied. In the University of Limpopo, Teflio, the law books have got a case of Castle Matale versus Ntangwisi government. That's when Castle defeated Ntangwisi in the 80s. I mean, there are many case laws that are better than Castle Matale versus Ntangwisi. They are nowhere to be found in the universities. Even the books that you have. Remember the first point. You are still learning manually. Even the manual books you have, they are outdated. They are outdated. There is no archives, including the law library, which is kept updated with the latest case laws. So that everyone who is a lawyer, including Dalimpo, who graduated long time ago, he wants to know the latest case laws. Go to Forte. Go to UJ. Go to Vets. Go to Stellenbosch. Go to Mangosutu. You will find the latest. Why are you referring me to those institutions? Because they are centers of excellence. That's where you find the real stuff. We can't say the same. Because we are led by people who are obsessed with pensions. That's why they are resigning in parliament. You think they are resigning in parliament because uh, 
they don't like Cyril Ramaphosa. It's not true. When you are a minister and you take a position of a member of parliament, your pension is going to be cut by half. So that's why they resign so that they can live with more money. It's not a conscious decision. It's not a political decision. It's a self-saving decision. All of them, including your favorites, I don't care who, all of them. Batabile Dlamini is not different from Tarek Hanakom. They are the same WhatsApp group. They are chasing pensions. So you must never want to project Batabile as being more unreasonable, yet when it comes to Tarek Hanakom, because he's white, you apply different rules. They are the same. Every time you are telling them that we must, we must equip our libraries, we must do this, they don't hear you. They are thinking of the pension. Or I must live and collect my money. This area of 40A, all lecturers, all management members who are giving people degrees even when they did not qualify, shame on you. You're giving your cousins, you're giving your friends degrees through corrupt means, shame on you. We're pleading with you, management of Fort A and all universities, do not destroy our education. We may not like it. It might be a colonizer's education. We need it to destroy colonialism. Can you imagine us without credible universities? We are nothing. But what is even more worrying and worse is lecturers who sleep with children here in Fort A and give them results, give them marks, and say to them, if you don't give me, if you don't sleep with me, you won't get marks. They must know that those children who are giving you because they want marks, they are not giving you out of their own personal will. You are raping them. You are a rapist lecturer. You do not deserve the position you are occupying. You are abusing your power. No one must do that to our education. No one must do that to our girl child. We want our children to come here and learn and become better people. Even when they fail, they must navigate it through until they get it right. Sleeping with a lecturer is not an option. These lecturers who are imposing themselves on our children, they must be named, they must be exposed so that we blacklist them in the education system. They don't go anywhere next to our children. We cannot have our education system destroyed. See, it's machine in fought very hard for us to be here. Abraham Tiro fought very hard for us to be here. No one out of personal interest and desire is going to destroy our education system. We want when we look at graduates from Fort Hare, we should know that this one did not sleep his or her way out. This one did not buy this degree. These are proper, well-grounded, trained people who are going to contribute to the geography of knowledge. You will never contribute to the geography of knowledge if you take a shortcut. A PhD, a master's, which can write two-page letter. How did you conduct your research? What type of thesis did you write? Comrades, let us not destroy these universities for generations to come because we are driven by quick desire for results. You ought to work hard. Our leaders worked hard. Our leaders died. The culture of rape is not only in the universities. It's all over in South Africa where men have declared war against women. And they rape them. And they think that makes them men. You are weak. Because 
the person who is not weak will not read, will propose, will dress up for it, will bath for it, will smell good for it. So that when they look at you, there is a desire for you. Psalm 1 must, must, must admire you. Someone must say, this one was made special for me. Because you are a special one. There is nothing special about rapists. Rape must be defeated in the institutions of learning, at workplaces, including at home, in our streets, in townships, in suburbs, in the rural areas. Because rape destroys society. And it eats away the confidence of our people permanently. It's a permanent trauma. Don't do that to anyone. So we must make sure that we get the best of the best from these universities. We must make sure that, comrades, our generational mission that the chairperson spoke about is not sold out. We must fight for economic freedom until we attain it. We must not abandon the struggle for economic freedom for political expediency. Because it's quick to get a job when you are a member of the ANC. You abandon the generational mission for your job which will not liberate you. Don't abandon your generation because you want quick economic opportunities. Otherwise, THC machining would have done the same. Abram Tiro would have done the same. Winnie Mandela would have done the same. Christian would have done the same. They would have abandoned their generational mission for personal interest. When Madiba was in prison, they came to arrest Winnie Mandela. Children were left alone. They left their own children. Somebody surely said to her, if you leave this thing, you'll go back home. You'll be with your family and your children. Can you imagine the mother and the children? They still left that for us to be liberated. You are not being tortured you are not being imprisoned. The only thing is that you are denied a job because you are not a member of the ANC. And then you want to leave and join the ANC even when you are not convinced. Just for immediate benefits. When you could have struggled with your generation and fight to liberate the mind of your generation so that when you take over power, you stay in power forever. Let me give you an example. There is a guy called General Bantu Olomisa here. He once won a municipality called KSD. He was a, UDM was a government there. The next election, they lost it. And since that time, they never won anything. Why? Because they didn't liberate our people. They didn't win our people through ideas. Let the people buy into ideas first. Once they've got the ideas and say this is what we want to achieve, they will never sell you out like they did with Olomisa and KSD. They couldn't sustain the UDM government. Why? They didn't know what the UDM stands for. Sometimes you must be happy when the EFF doesn't win. When they say why, you say, we are still educating them about seven cardinal pillars. So that when we take over government, when we take over government and we expropriate land without compensation, the colonizers, the enemies of the revolution, should not get them to come and fight us. Or this is, uh, 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 this is not what we voted for. They ought to internalize it. 
that the government of the EFF will not have tendered. They ought to internalize it. That the government of the EFF will not tolerate lazy civil servants who are hiding behind unions. We are going to build a state capacity where workers of the state will work and not lazy around because unions are protecting them. Why should we have a, a tender to buy toilet papers? We all know where toilet papers are being sold. There is no tender at home to go and buy toilet papers. We go and buy toilet papers. Air freshener in toilets. The toilets, there is no air freshener in the toilets of the university. Why? We are still advertising the tender. When someone can just walk to the mall, buy the air freshener and come back. There are no roads. There are potholes here in Amatol. Why? The tender must still come to patch the pothole. Where are the workers of government to patch the pothole? Where are the workers of government to install water? We know where the river is. We've got engineers hired by this government. Where are they? They don't do anything. We are paying their salaries every month. They must know we ought to teach them now, like we are doing today, that when the EFF government comes, there will not be a lazing around of engineers. You are going to the field. Go and show them how they must dig a pipeline until we connect water in the houses of all people here in Amatol. Why should we be told that people have stolen millions for toilet in Amatol? They, they will not steal millions of toilet money if that job is done internally. Because no one gets millions. You only get your salary. We buy the pipes. We buy everything else that must be bought. The yellow machines are there. We bought them. You want to dig trenches, bring the TLB, the engineer, come show us. How do we dig the trenches? This is the level I want. Go this way. Done. It's no tender for yellow machine. No tender for pipes. No tender for the professionals. Everything is done internally. When that pipe has got a problem, there is no advertising of a tender for the next six months. Uh -uh. Hey, your pipe that you have installed there is a mess. Go and fix it. You will see how you do it. It's your job. It's possible. The Northern Cape Premier, though all those things he's doing in Northern Cape or saying he's going to do, he stole them from the EFF founding manifesto. That's who we are. Build state capacity. Comrades, we are building a revolutionary party. Eh? We are not building an SCO, student Christian organization. No. We are a revolutionary party. Every time we get criticized by our enemies, all of you, you cringe into a cocoon, into a corner because you allow the enemies to tell us how we must fight them. We will never be told by our enemies how the EFF must conduct its struggle. Let me give you an example. There is a video of our SG attending to some people there in the office. And then they say, yeah, EFF people are fighting amongst themselves. There is no fighting. The SG is performing his revolutionary duty to defend the revolution by protecting the office of the revolution. Stop bringing Christian uh, approaches into the revolution. If that video embarrasses you, go to SCO. I would have done worse than what the SG did for that office of the EFF. It's not a playground. We will make you meet your maker quickly. When the EFF loses a case against Trevor Manuel, hey, hey, it looks like we're losing cases. Hey, I don't care. 
whether we lose 500 cases, whether 1,000 cases, as long as we lose cases against the enemy, we must put pressure, we must fight the enemy. Stop imposing your morals on us. Mandela lost a case. He was arrested and in prison. We are not the first ones to lose case. Mandela was in jail. He lost a case. Yet he remained your hero. Let us remain your hero even when we lose cases. That's how it works. Stop being crybabies who are in a revolution here. Some who are going to win. Some who are going to lose. We are moving forward. They only back at a moving car. This car of the revolution is unstoppable. People talk about VBS. This, hey, VBS. Yo, hey. Hey, man. What's your problem? VBS or no VBS, this car of the revolution is moving forward. It is unstoppable. It is unstoppable. Revolution is won through all types of means. If you don't know what a revolution is, read the EFF. You come here because you, you, you become sheepish. You are so scared. You are ashamed. The problem is you have never read an EFF document. Read the EFF founding manifesto. It says, we will win this revolution using any means necessary. So let me tell you something here. If you are not prepared to take guns at some point, you are in a wrong hall. Because there might be a day where the enemy makes condition necessarily for arms to be taken. And when that time comes, we will not hesitate. We will take the enemy toe to toe. We will defeat the enemy. We will never retreat. By the time we take guns, you must not say to us, Hey, hey, we said to you, any means necessary to win the revolution. And we who are commanding this revolution will be engaged in activities that are going to make it possible. Some of those activities may not be exposed to the membership and the ground forces. By mistake, if you come to know about them, do not doubt the wisdom of the leadership. Trust that our leaders know what they are doing. You gave us an opportunity to lead this thing. We are leading it. And we are building it ground up. Slowly. We want to tell a story at some point when we are old. All of us in our farms which would have taken through expropriation of land without compensation. We will tell that story when we are sitting in our farms that Saatkala Singhaka. Manje sing. That's what we must tell. We cannot just start by being this. Easy come, easy go. We must sweat for this revolution. We are going to be beaten. We are going to be defeated. Sometimes, some of you are going to feel extremely tired. Well, ah, this thing it looks like is taking forever. When you feel tired, remember the suffering of the black man. Look at yourself. Look at your neighbors and your children and the children of your friends and say, if we give up now, are these kids going to travel the same road we traveled? It ought to stop with you. That even if we may not get the benefit of the economic freedom, those who come after us should be able to salute us that we have built a solid foundation for them to take over this struggle and continue to liberate black people.
There are no clinics. No clinics in the, in the villages. No toilets in the Eastern Cape. When you feel tired, think of those people. No one said it's going to be easy. When Steve Biko said, black man, you are on your own. He was not passing time. He was telling you that you must never rely on someone somewhere. This is confronting you. You ought to deal with it. No one else is going to deal with it. Not even white people who claim to love black people can deal with the problem of black people. It needs you and you alone. No one else. There's a problem of toilets in Eastern Cape. It needs you. Children are falling into the pit toilets. It needs you. Because when you say to a white man in a suburb, Yo, our children are dying, falling into the toilet. He's like, toilet? And then he looks at his toilet seat like, really? Can a chill into? Is it this real? They don't understand what you are talking about. Only you know that lived experience of black people. And only you know the extent of that pain. And because you know the extent of the pain, only you can resolve it. No one else. No one knows this pain. They don't know what it means to be a black person. They will never know. They can be our sympathizers. They can be our friends. They will never be black. Not even Slovo can claim to be black. Being black is being hated. That's what your education system teaches you. That's why you develop into a self-hate. That's why at some point you even ask yourself, Mar, why are we black? They teach you to hate yourself because black is hated everywhere. These children were killed not because they did anything, because they were black and they were hated. Your mother, who is being abused as a domestic worker, is not because she doesn't know how to clean. She cleans very well at home. I'm taught by her how to clean. She gets beaten even when she has cleaned very well because she's black. It's not because she didn't do her job. She did her job. They just look at her and feel irritated. They beat her up. We are hated. And then people come here and tell us forgiveness and reconciliation. Reconciliation of what? You went to stay in prison for five years. Your life disrupted for five years. For having written ANC under your mark in the 80s, in the 90s, they find it. ANC written under your mark. They call the police. They arrest you for feathering the aims of the ANC. Take you to prison for five years. When you come out of prison, you must forgive and forget. Forgive the people who have never asked for an apology. I want you to give me a speech where the clerk said sorry where Malani said sorry, where Bwota said sorry, where Fervut said sorry. They never said sorry. They never apologized for their crimes. They are not in prison for their crimes. We are told, forgive. You only forgive the people who show remorse and apologize. They have never apologized. We will never forgive them until they apologize. Why is the leg not going to Tsetsi Machinini's family, Hector Peterson's family, and say, I might not have been a president in 1976, but I'm the last phase of apartheid. I'm here to reach out. I'm sorry. They never said sorry. 
And when we are angry, they ask themselves why. You never apologize. And sorry is not enough. Sorry must be accompanied by remorse. And remorse will mean release the land into the hands of the children of Hector Peterson. White man, no one is going to drive you to the sea. That's not what we are talking about. We are not going to give you a bullet. Nothing. We want our land. And when we get our land, you will decide if you want to stay with us or not. We are the most welcoming people. We don't chase people away. Mandela taught us manners. Zinzi Mandela taught us manners. Winnie Mandela taught us manners. We will never chase visitors away. You are more than welcomed here. But behave like visitors. Bring the land into the hands of the rightful owners. And a land to Yomshaba, comrades. It's not a matter that you just wake up tomorrow. What time? Yomshaba will. Yomshaba. We have to fight for it. We, we are going to fight for it. But if you want a quick arrangement, you are going to get what Mandela got at Cordesa. That was a quick arrangement. That was not a revolution. If you want a quick arrangement, they will say to you, compromise. This land must come with sweat and pain. Let's go and fight for it. Never retreat. Black men, don't be a coward. Remember the young man, Hector Peterson. Remember Thiezi Machinini, Abram Tiro. Remember the images of Winnie Mandela on the 16th of June, 1976, when they were shooting those children, Winnie was picking them up, putting them in a house, including the dead bodies. Remember those things and know that we, as a generation, we have a mission to fulfill. Don't be cowards. Even here at Fort Hare University, fight for the student command to lead and give you a better governance. Not governance of cavellas and plasma TVs and alcohol and freshers born and stealing money. We want this university to be under progressive leadership and for the children to know that when the EFF is in leadership, we will not be asked for registration. Student leaders of the EFF here, you must pass. Don't become permanent residents yet for the year. There are no permanent residents here. You must come and go. Don't enjoy the temporary luxuries of being in the SRC. Go and confront the real world. We are waiting for you out there. We are fighting monsters. We don't have people to come and help us. Please graduate and come. We are fighting Mercedes Benz in uh, East London. That is exploiting our people. We need somebody who is eloquent like you, university graduate, to come and talk to those whites there because they don't hear us properly. We don't speak English better than you. We are waiting for you. Come. We don't want you to come and die here out of irresponsible activities you are engaged in. You are here to learn. Make your African mother proud. Make the African community proud by passing and graduating and leaving this place. Comrades, you must know when you pass and graduate you don't do it for your family only. You are doing it for the whole village. That's why when we go into a village and we get lost, they give us direction through you. But no, when you turn there at that corner there, that is the house of that chartered accountant. That's how you turn. They want to tell us oh, there is a CA in that village. That's how proud the village is. Graduate and make the village very proud.
graduate, pass, and make 1976 proud. You must shape the apartheid regime by passing and excelling because they didn't want you to have education. The only way to say shame on you is by coming here and quickly leaving this place as a graduate who's coming to contribute to the struggle for economic emancipation for black people out there. Education is what they didn't want us to have. When you are given an opportunity to be educated, shame the clerk and say to the clerk, when you graduate, hold your certificate like this. Or this is to the clerk and the clerk foundation. You thought we won't make it as black people. Look at us now. We are going to get even more blacks to graduate to shame you who said we can't use mathematics. We are using mathematics as black people. We know the importance and the relevance of science and mathematics. Everything they said we can't do, we must do it. And show them and prove them wrong that we are actually doing it better than you when you thought you were better than us. We are a gifted nation. 76 is about education. In the EFF, we make education fashionable. You must go to school. You must love school. Our people are not going to be led by another Jacob Zuma. A dander head. A person with a big head full of air inside. It's not going to happen again. That thing ended with Zuma. If Mbalula wants to lead us, he must open the books immediately when I finish this speech. Because we are not going to be led by people who are not from school. That thing is done. Zuma has destroyed their chances, all of them. So the best way out of the mess, if you want to lead us, go to school. You are Robert Subukwe. You are Nelson Mandela. You are Sretzehama. You are Krisani sitting there. You are O.R. Tambo, former president of the SRC. Here, you must follow those leaders. Do not follow celebrities who want to be. A life of a celebrity is short-lived. Don't come to this campus and think you are a celebrity. When you leave the gates here, you realize you are nothing. Stop acting. You are putting an act. Leave acting to Fanamukwena. You are nothing. You are a student. Come down. Come down. Come down. Concentrate on your books. You are nothing here. If you come from a rich family, we don't care about your money. Here you are nothing. Concentrate on your books. Humble yourself. Because if you don't humble yourself, your books will humble you. The results on the board will humble you. Yeah. It's not a place of umucholo here. It's not a place of impregnating each other here. It's not a place of creating families here. Here we are here to learn and go home. You will do those things of children out of here. Don't get this thing twisted. You are not in love with that person. You are bored. This place can be boring as well. And it can confuse you to think you are in love when you are passing time. It's passing time. Don't invest too much time on it. More time, books. Not mojolo, not bash, not looking nice. Whether you've got nice clothes or not, don't care about those things. Put anything you can put, my sister. Go to the lecture hall. Learn. Let them talk about you. Those are the fools who will be consulting in your offices. Or go on, uh, playing with your spectacles. I know you from somewhere. <laughs> Kanti, it is that fool which was making jokes about your clothes 
We are not here for clothes. We are not here for shoes. We are not here for makeup. We are here for books. Let us learn, learn, learn and graduate. We are here to do three things only. Three. One is to learn. Two is to learn. Three is to learn. That's what we are here to do. Nothing else. The rest, the rest is by the way. When it, when it comes between you and the books, for, mm -mm, it's too much now. Stand on the side. I have my books. Choose your books. Why? You are choosing your future. Your future is in those books. Your future is not these ones who are here to destroy other people's future. Books is what is going to get you out of this university. When you live here, serve black people with pride. Be happy when you've got a black client in front of you. Don't give a cheap service to your own black brothers and sisters. You must know that these people have suffered a lot. When you see a black person, whether in a tie, whether in a shirt, torn shirt, we are all the same. Including Patrice Motsepe, by the way. We are, we, are, we are like him. He can have all his money. He's black. He's hated. He doesn't know until he wears a white t-shirt into a white restaurant. Say, say, say. That side. Someone must go and whisper to them and say, hey, it's a different black, this one. But before that, we are all the same. Treat our people with dignity as a graduate, as a service provider. Always Make sure that your job which you do for black people is excellent and perfect. Go an extra mile of asking how are the children at home? We just want someone to listen. We are so troubled. We are so rejected and dejected to a point that we can't talk to anyone. That's why we are killing ourselves. Because everyone is too busy to listen. Listen to the black sisters and brothers. They don't want your money. They want someone to listen and sympathize. Because we are a traumatized nation. We've got trauma. We have been rejected for far too long. And now my sisters and brothers are taking their lives. Because no one is listening. We graduate and want to behave like those who are perpetuating our pain. Because all we want to be is to be white. Why? The books told us so. And by being white means you don't listen to nonsense. Listen. It might be the most useless thing to listen to. But to the person who's narrating the story, it's a big issue. If you can help, help. Why are you drinking such an expensive whiskey? Knowing very well that the child next door can't go to school because they did not pay school fees or they do not have transport. Listen to each other. Black people love each other. It starts with listening. You can only listen if the mind is liberated and you now have love for yourself. We don't listen. We dismiss each other because we hate ourselves. The way we treat other black people, that's how we feel about ourselves. Let's liberate the mind. So that you can have self-love. And with a self-love, you will love the next black person. You give us nonsensical services because you think we don't deserve it. Why? 
because you think you don't deserve it. That's how you think of us through you. We ought to liberate the mind for you to love one another. What type of a nurse are you standing there when a patient is sick? There is no bed to sleep or anything or equipment. All they need is for you to stand there and rub her back. We know there are no beds. We know there are no equipments. It is not because of the nurses. It's because the establishment is like that. It rejects black people. It won't give them pay. It's going to be fine, ma'am. It's going to be fine. My colleague is getting you a mattress. It's going to be fine. There are no beds. Not hi, 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 hi. That's how you feel of yourself. That's how you feel of your mother. That's why you go around treating other mothers like that. Love yourself so that you can love black people. Black people, we only have ourselves. There's no one who's going to come from America. Even when they bomb us, even if they shoot us now, we won't run to anywhere. We've got nowhere to go. We only have ourselves here. We must have each other's back. We must protect one another. We must feel the pain of other black people. Because we are relatives. We are one thing. Thank you very much. Long live President Chila Silomalema. Long live. Long live the EFF. Long live. Thank you very much. Uh, now I'm going to call Umam uh, Sonti to Uganza Ulisilombolelo just to say uh, thank you. Umam Sonti, Loben Kalalanga, I call it Zitum, Bupai Marikana. Amanda. Kambisa. Amanda. Amanda. Eh, siabule la kakulu, koguti ni pumelele, koda kakulu kakulu, sibule la bonke abate benza, kwa ba impumelelo, i ground forces zetu, kakulu kakulu, mas puma apa, spume kaku kese ema kayeni etu, sipepile, indwe si chetayo, u 2021 ufikile, masambe ni siyo sebenza, ezi pranjini zetu, amen. Okay, so I'm going to drive a car. I'm going to abandon the school. 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 Au no makubis siyayat siyayat no makubis siyayat siyayat no ma bese tobolas bese siyayat. Besi bopa, no ma besi tubolas. Besi shaya, besi bopa. Who left? Who right? Yamasa. Who left? Kita, kila me, kiri bata bata, tamarumo, tamarumo rumo asicha. Where were you when I'm dream? Where were you when I'm sitting? So fast, get him. 